Tonight, NBA broadcaster Ernie Johnson is being honored at Pfizer Forum with the Vince Lombardi Cancer Foundation's Award of Excellence. Now, the foundation raises money for cancer research and honors a significant figure from the sports world each and every year. CBS 58's Adam Reif reporting from Pfizer Forum after talking to Ernie Johnson. Ernie Johnson knows the importance of the Cancer Foundation's mission very well, having survived two cancer diagnoses in his life. He said it is great to be back in his hometown where he spent the first eight years of his life and credits this community with playing a big role in his development. The place has always had a special, uh, a special spot. Ernie Johnson's talents have taken him to the highest levels of his profession, but Friday night he said he always remembers where he came from. This is where I was born, uh, North 68th Street, right near the, the Wauwatosa line, Endress Park. Johnson's father played for and then worked for the Braves in Milwaukee before the family moved with the team to Atlanta. The host of the NBA on TNT was back in Milwaukee Friday night to accept the Vince Lombardi Cancer Foundation's Award of Excellence for spreading a message of hope. I was blown away. The message is when you're in this club nobody wants to be in, you have the responsibility and the opportunity to help the next person through it. Johnson has survived non-Hodgkin's lymphoma as well as prostate cancer. He credited faith, friends, and family for helping him during his battles. And he's hoping to share some of that strength with others also battling cancer. Membership in that club is still growing. So um, that's all I'm trying to do is, is go through what I've, you know, what I've experienced with cancer and at least try to make it easier for the next person to get through it. A cocktail reception and silent auction preceded a dinner on the Fiserv Forum floor. Beneath the Bucks championship banner, the veteran NBA broadcaster shifted into work mode for a moment and said the Bucks could soon be hanging another banner from the rafters. That's a team that's right there, a team that has the respect of uh, everybody in the league for the way they go about their business. Since the Cancer Foundation was started in 1971, it has raised more than $22 million for cancer research. All proceeds from Friday night's event will go to help in that mission. At Fiserv Forum, Adam Reif, CBS 58 News.